Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the eighth video in the AC electricity series, and we're looking at LCR circuits. So L for inductor, C for capacitor, and R for resistor. So we'll just start with the simulation, uh, look at the phase of diagrams, and finish with an impedance triangle. So here we have a, a little simulation I've made on the FET um, website, and I'll, I'll get it going. And you can see once I, I start it up, uh, we've got electricity going back and forth, back and forth. First thing I'm going to look at is compare current to the voltage going through the resistor, which in this case is my light bulb. And just like with all the other circuits we've looked at so far, we see that current in the circuit and voltage in the light bulb are in phase. Okay, so they reach peaks at the same time, they reach troughs at the same time. Now because of the simulation, I, I can't have three voltage oscilloscopes, I can only have two. I'm going to leave the current one on, pretend that's the voltage to the light bulb. I've got one voltmeter or oscilloscope on the capacitor and one on the uh, inductor. I can compare all three of these um, uh, traces. So if I just sort of pause it there, you can see that the inductor reaches the top. The capacitor is at the bottom, so it's, it's behind by a full wave. Um, and then the current sort of in the middle of the two. So now the, that's at the bottom, that's at the top, and that's on its way down. So really what we've got here is we've got, um, look at this one here, yep. Uh, the current's in phase, which is what I showed you first with the voltage over the resistor. We've got the inductor, VL, this one here, leads the resistor, this one over here, by 90 degrees. So it's a quarter of a wave ahead. It's reaching the top while well, it's just going through the middle and on its way up. We've got the capacitor, the capacitor's here, is 90 degrees behind the um, light bulb. So it is reaching the bottom, but the light bulb's on its way up and halfway. So it's a quarter of a wave behind that as well. So we've got our uh, phaser diagram, and it's just a combination of the phaser diagrams we had before. We've got uh, inductor leads by 90 degrees, when we always do the the, resistor, the voltage of the resistor out to the right, and we've got the capacitor lags by 90 degrees, because remember, everything turns anti-clockwise. The way that I was always taught to remember it, is you remember the resistor's out to the side, and the little saying, the land is above the sea. So land starts with L, so that means L points up, and C sounds like the letter C goes down. And so that's how you remember which way around they go. The land is above the sea. So an impedance triangle for that situation has the same relationship as the voltages do. The resistance of the resistors out to the right, the reactance of the inductor is pointing upwards, and it's directly out of phase with the um, reactance of the capacitor, which points downwards. Okay, The total reactance... So remember, this R is a resistance, and these two are reactances. Because one's going up and one's going down, to find the total out of these two, you can just subtract one from the other, just like a very simple force diagram. And when you subtract one from the other, so you do it in terms of vectors like this, you put them beside each other, and the gap you've got left is the overall total reactance. And now if we want to add these together to find the impedance, we can. So to do that, remember we shift it, so it goes head to tail, and then from the start of the first to the end of the second, that's our total. This is just adding vectors. So we'll just go back. If this is the um, impedance triangle, and if I wanted to find the total impedance of all of these things, the first thing I do is find the difference between the two vertical ones. It looks like that. And then I can finally add these two together in terms of a vector diagram, and that gives me my total impedance there which if you go back to the original diagram, kind of makes sense. You've got L is bigger than, uh, XL is bigger than XC, so overall you know that the overall um, impedance is going to be pointing up a bit because this one dominates from the capacitor reactance. So in summary, we've got um, an LCR circuit, which has the three components of an AC circuit, um, and you can see it easily on the diagram. Remember, I remember it from uh, land is above the sea, and this is, in words, the voltage over the inductor leads the voltage over the resistor by 90 degrees, and the voltage over the capacitor lags by 90 degrees. Our impedance triangle is the same relationship. 
And if we wanted to find the total impedance, the first step we would do is find the total reactance, which is just the one of the vertical ones minus the other.